what is your take? Thank you. I have little I can add at this point in the discussion because of everyone's very astute observations so far, but I would underscore, I think, uh, Dr. Asad Uzman's last point on the importance of the urgency and the seriousness of where we are and, and you know, correspondingly the need for even greater results from any summit, um, even one that we're very happy that could take place to usher in a change in U.S. policy. Let me just mention three things that maybe haven't been um, emphasized as much so far to um, try to round out the conversation. Um, first, on the on China's um, contribution, I think it's very interesting um, uh, and notable that China, of course, was present and, and at the highest level in the summit and certainly bodes well for further steps in this direction. And it follows a, a, what I found to be a very surprisingly positive joint statement between the US and China the previous week on the end of John Kerry's visit to Shanghai. Um, and of course, it came after a phone call between Emmanuel Macron, Angela Merkel, and President Xi um, on Friday, uh, the week before the summit, which ended up with actually quite a significant announcement. China saying it would ratify the, the, um, the Kigali Amendment to the Montreal Protocol, um, the biggest, you know, about half of the benef climate benefits from that, that uh, amendment come from, would come from China. So it's a very significant announcement for, for the climate. Um, and even though China was, of course, very eager to not make this announcement on um, US Zoom soil, so to speak, um, it's very notable that it came after John Kerry's visit with a meeting with the Europeans and right before the summit. So this, really, I think, really shows how a mix of cooperative and, and competitive um, um, it can still yield quite good outcomes for the climate um, in this new geopolitical context. And I think we can uh, offer a much more fertile ground to build on than I think I would have thought even the week before that, that meeting came. So that, that was encouraging to my mind. Second point um, I just like to mention is notable how th when the United States is reintroducing itself to the world on, in climate policy with the new Biden administration, it really did continue to make a strong point of emphasizing the contributions of U.S. states and cities and businesses, and now increasingly labor groups, tribal associations, really all of society in a really kind of co-owned way. Um, there's a big section of the summit devoted to those, those actors and their contributions. Um, and I think it'll be really interesting to see how that continues to develop going forward. The big goals that the Biden administration has laid out will, of course, require federal power and ideally legislation to achieve, but will also require the participation of, of all those other actors as well. And if we look down the road to how credible these targets will be, not just during this administration, but in the next one, and the one after that, and the one after that, and the one after that, all the way toward yeah. net zero by 2050, you know, that kind of all of society commitment will be really important for um, making or breaking the case for it. And I, I think that's quite significant to see in the US context as well. And the final piece of that was a big announcement on the eve of the summit by 43 major global banks as part of this new UN convened banking alliance for net zero, um, which is uh, the biggest of the many kind of finance, finance actor announcements um, that have been pouring out over the past months. These banks control $28 trillion worth of assets. So to the extent they make credible steps toward net zero, that'll be really huge uh, boost for driving the overall financial system toward sustainability and we would hope driving more finance into climate solutions, especially in emerging and developing countries. So still a lot to um, look at in that, that kind of announcement, but potentially quite a significant shift in the economy again, spurred by this summit. So um, even though we know there, uh, there's a lot more work to be done, I was encouraged by the events last week. Thank you. Uh, so, Ira. Professor Ida, you know that uh, in the summit, adaptation 